Hi everyone. In the previous chapter, we have replaced the buttons by card view to improve the look of the dashboard screen to get this uh, a material card view, effect, the card view effect. And in this chapter, what we are going to do is to make this text in the toolbar to the center, to align it in the center. So as I said before, it is not directly editable because this toolbar is auto-generated by the Android uh, framework itself. We are not custom creating it. So we don't have total control over its design. So in this chapter, we will discuss how we can provide custom a toolbar for our application though. So the first thing that you have to do is to go to the activity dashboard XML file and here we can use a custom toolbar component provided by Java, uh, provided by the Android framework. So here you can see that we have V7 widget toolbar and first I am going to make it match pattern and then use a wrap content. Okay, now we have the toolbar and here we can add any component we want. Suppose you want to add an image to the title bar, you can use this image view. Right now, we need to only center the text. For that, I am going to use a text view. So, wrap content, wrap content. And I am going to view the text as app name. So, at string slash app name, I have the name of my app, which is the genuine inspiration. So, I am going to use that key here. And as you can see, it is coming at this point. Okay, so one uh, change I have to make is to make this match pattern. So there is a problem because I can't make the center by set having this much width. I have to make the width match pattern and then set the gravity of the text view to the center. So as you can see now, it is at the center of the screen. Good. The next thing that I have to do is to match the background color of this toolbar. So this is called color primary. Uh, which is created when we created it to create the application. So if you go and look at the colors.xml, you can see that there is color primary, which is the color of the toolbar. There is color primary dark, which is the uh, color of the notification bar. So I'm going to use this color primary color for this background. So background equals color primary. Good. Uh, we have the toolbar with the uh, acceptable background color. Now we have to change the text color of this text view. So that can be done using text color and pure white. This this color was created by me. By I created this uh, entry in the colors.xml. If you want to add another entry, you can add your own entry here. All right. Then uh, I have the white color. Now one more thing that I have to do is to in, uh, set the text size. So text size equals and I'm going to set it to 18 SP. I think 18 SP is a little bit small. I need to set that to 20 SP. Okay. Now I have the text view and the toolbar from the XML. Let's see what happens if we run the program right now. So uh, as of now, the uh, text is in the left side and you can see that now we have two toolbars. That is because we have in removed or replaced the first toolbar. So here comes the change next. We somehow have we somehow have to remove this top toolbar. And that can be done by changing the theme. Right now I have two themes. One th one is called app theme which was created when I created the program. The second one was is custom made and its name is app theme dot no action bar which is derived from this app theme and the change for this theme from this theme is that these values are set so we are telling that no title should be true and action bar equal to false so if we use this theme right now then we can remove the original a toolbar from the top so going back to the manifest android manifest where we set the parent activity name and label etc here we can provide one more option here we can set theme for each individual activity and here you can see that i have app theme and app theme dot no action bar so i'm going to use this app theme dot no action bar and if i run this program right now again by just changing one line of code we should have this top bar remote. Uh, I am uh, uh, using the word top bar and toolbar interchangeably. So just remember that top bar means toolbar. So we got the top bar removed and we have the genuine inspiration title right now. That's great, right? Now we have used a custom toolbar. 
And one more thing that you have to understand is usually uh, we, in order to get the toolbar, we call this get support action bar. Right now, if we call it and use some set methods, it is going to throw a null point exception because there is no support action bar defined. So when you use a custom action bar, you have to set the support action bar to the custom created one. So if you look at this, I have given, I have to give an ID here. So I'm going to name it as, uh, let us take from here, dashboard. And I am going to name it as dashboard toolbar. And this toolbar is going to be set as the default support action bar. So I can do it like this, find my ID r.id.dashboard.toolbar so what this will do is this will take this toolbar and tell the program that this is going to be the support action bar so whenever someone else is going to call this get support action bar we will return the custom created one okay so for so good the one more thing i think we need is to set the elevation of this one because there is no uh, there is no a shadow be below this component below this door toolbar right now so i'm going to set the elevation to 5 dp and if i run this program again i should get a nice shadow below this toolbar the apk is getting installed and here we go and you can see that we got the nice shadow that is characteristic to the toolbar the toolbar so that's it guys that's the end of this video in this video we learned how to create custom toolbars and i will see you on the next one bye bye